Carpenter is intent on the pressure of his hand on the awl and the trick of pinpointing his strength through the awl to the wood, which is tough. He has no effort to spare for despoilings, nor to worry if he will be cut in on the dice. <laughs> His skill is vital to the scene and the safety of the state. Anyone can perform the indignities. It is his hard arms and craft that hold the eyes of the convict's women. There is the problem of getting the holes straight. In the middle of this shoving crowd, and deep enough to hold the spikes after they've sunk through those soft feet and wrists waiting behind him. The carpenter isn't aware that one of the hands is held in a curious beseechment over him. But what is besought? Forgiveness or blessing? Nor if he saw would he take the time to be puzzled. Criminals come in all sorts, as anyone knows who makes crosses. Are as mad or sane as those who decide on their killings. one at least has been quiet so far though they say he has talked himself into this trouble a carpenter's son who got notions of preaching well here's a carpenter's son who'll have carpenter's sons god willing and build what's wanted 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 Temples or tables, mangers or crosses, and shape them decently, working alone in that firm and profound abstraction which blots out the bawling of rag snatchers. Construct with hands, knee weight, braced thigh, keeps the back turned from death. But it's too late now for the other carpenter's boy to return to this piece before the nails are hammered. <laughs> 